Hey guys, just want to do a uh, little video for you for about uh, 100 watt uh, solar panels, what you can run on them. This is a question I had when I was getting mine, which is kind of the reason that I got my setup to kind of get an idea of what it could do on it. What I have is a 100 watt Renogy solar panel with a PWM charge controller. I've got two 6 volt Duracell golf cart batteries wired in parallel positive and negative to give me a 12 volt battery bank at 225 amp hours. Now what that means is I have 100 watts an hour charging capability and I've got 225 amp hours of capacity on my batteries. Now if you haven't done a lot of research on this the amp hours you have to take volts times amps which will give you your wattage. So for 225 amps, I'll have 2,500 watts to play with. And I can only take my batteries down to 50% discharge. So I only have 1,250 watts, you know, before I have to recharge my batteries that I can use. So my panel, my energy panel, on peak hours, I usually get about 80 watts an hour on it. So all together without peak hours and everything, I probably have six to seven hundred watts a day out of that one panel to use. So depends on what I want to do. I can charge my laptops. My laptop is about 60 watts an hour to charge. My iPhone's about 50 watts. My TV, which I have a really in inefficient TV, it's 150 watts, and my Xbox is 80 watts. So it really depends on what I want to do. So I've got that 1250 watts of battery capacity that I can use to drain my batteries down to 50%. And it usually take me two days to charge it back up with that one Renogy 100 watt solar panel. So I can run my TV you know, for about six hours with the Xbox to give you kind of an idea of what you can run. The fridge, my fridge is 100 watts an hour with the cycling on and off. I can run it for about a day before it'll discharge my batteries. Right now I don't have enough solar panel to charge it back up enough to keep it running all the time, but eventually that'll what that'll what uh, I'll be end up doing. If you're just getting into this, my suggestion would be to get get you the 100 watt Renogy solar panel kit with a PWM charge controller. It's not much difference from MPT T charge controller and uh, it'll get you a good start for around 180 bucks. The uh, golf cart batteries, I played around a little bit with the other ones, the deep cycle batteries. They seem to be a lot better batteries. They hold up charge better. They're a little bit bigger batteries, but if you get the 100 watt Renogy solar panel kit, then if you get the two golf cart batteries, you're doing pretty good. You can go ahead and buy you another 100 watt panel later on and add with it and it'll charge up pretty good. So, if y'all have any questions or anything, just a short video to go over it. If y'all have any questions, just leave me comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks.